Junaid Sharma and Lily King-Taylor met with Gordon Brown on behalf of the Global Campaign for Education ahead of his meeting in Mozambique. The children are challenging Gordon Brown on global education and campaigning to ensure that every child gets a decent education and a well-trained teacher. What do you hope to achieve from your visit to Mozambique next week? That for the first time in the world's history, every child has a chance of going to school. A hundred million children are not going to school today. Uh, now, we may think in our country, if you can get off school for a day, that's quite a good thing. But if you never have the chance to get any schooling, it's so unfair. And even today, when the world is so rich, a hundred million children are not going to school. It's, it's, it's a tragedy and it's a scandal. We have made cut-out teachers to present to you and other world leaders. Each one represents a real teacher yeah. needed by a child. Yeah. Between now and 2015, the world needs an extra 15 million teachers. Yeah. How are you going to make this happen? That's what uh, going to Mozambique is about, because we're launching the initiative uh, to say we will, over the next 10 years, provide the money so we can train the teachers and then employ the teachers so that there are classrooms that now have teachers and we have schools that are built so that um, uh, every child can get education. So it's partly about money uh, and it's partly countries preparing their plans so that they say in every area of our country we will now have teachers instead of so many areas of different uh, countries where there are too few teachers or sometimes none at all. What's your promise to all the children in the world who don't go to school or have a teacher? We will provide the resources so that by 2015 we give every child the chance uh, to have schooling. So we've got to provide the money and uh, we've got to persuade other countries to do so. And then in the countries where there are not enough teachers at the moment and there are not enough schools, uh, they take the action that is necessary to both build the schools and train the teachers. And if we could do both these things, then children that are not going to school today will have the chance to go to school. But education is the key to all sorts of other things, including good jobs at a later stage in your life. Why do you think going to school is important? Because if I hadn't gone to school, I wouldn't have been able to get an education and then a job and then a career and then income for my family. Sometimes you think if I could get off school for a week, that'd be fine. But actually, if you never had the chance to go to school, you'd be very angry because you'd be de denied education and you denied your right, therefore, to get a decent education, to then get a job, to then get some income, uh, to then have a better life. Last year we made millions of buddies and delivered them to the G8 leaders, asking them to send my friend to school. At the G8, world leaders promised again that they would get all children into primary school by 2015. Has any more money really gone to education since the G8? Yes, and we're putting, uh, it's a big sum, $15 billion, that's eight and a half billion pounds in, into education. So I want to thank all the schools <clears throat> and all the pupils and all the teachers that were involved in this campaign. And you really did make a difference because you persuaded uh, politicians all over the world to take uh, education very, very seriously. But the next stage, I think, where pupils and teachers and schools make a difference is persuading uh, people that Every year we can do better and get more children into school, get more teachers trained, get more schools built. So you as pupils and, and your schools are going to have a very important role in this uh, because you will be able to find out what's happening, you'll be able to tell us you're not doing enough. Who was your favourite teacher and what qualities did they have that made them good? I remember my first primary school teacher when I was uh, five and, and went, I went, went to school. But I think the great thing about teachers is when they really did care about how you uh, got on. And I think the best teachers you will never forget. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure.